Okay, it's time for a new challenge. It's 30 days from Valentine's Day. So this is a 30 day love song challenge. And I'm gonna start with a love song. It's a really beautiful love song. I don't know that I can play it exactly on this instrument.
I really love this song And I wish that I could Play it completely freely But you start somewhere so I made this challenge for myself my overall goal is to be willing to be vulnerable and I thought that that could be Singing love songs for 30 days straight Sometimes love songs that I've written Sometimes love songs I just know Sometimes love songs that I I figured I would sing the love songs that I know, the love songs that I love.
This is something I know. You just have to stand there and be seen. Just have to get used to how that feels. To just be seen as you. Whatever people see. In this little window. That's where the whole world is. Through this little window. Now that we're alone, I mean we're each alone. Maybe you, maybe you are not alone, but I'm alone in this little world, inside this little bubble, reaching out through whatever I can. you said Victoria but I forgot to bring them in here I'm looking at myself in this in this light it looks like I have been in a tanning booth but I haven't been in a tanning booth I don't know what that's about stop now well maybe I'm ahead but the whole point of being there is just just to stay there not to stay there until you shouldn't be there but to stay there as long as you are I'll tell you it's really interesting you're here and you're seeing those numbers and you're thinking, wow, wait a second, am I being interesting or am I being boring? And like, does that really matter? I don't know if you ever have this experience, but I certainly do. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, wow. And I used to feel this way when I used to toe play on the streets. And you'd see people walk by and you'd see them like, be like, I'm not even seeing you. And maybe it's because Because I always thought that it had to at least look as interesting for an electric harp player to be playing on the street as to see a wild turkey walking down the street. Because if you'd see a wild turkey walking down the street, you'd think like, whoa, that's so cool. Anyway, wish I had my glasses, then I could say your name. It looks like Sajana Morgana. So, Sabjana Morgana and Robert Nero. <laughs> oh, that's true. And Paula R. Scott's friends. <laughs> I think that's you. Suddenly I thought, wouldn't it be funny if my cats actually, uh, you know, were <laughs> Anyway, all right, now I'm, now I'm getting embarrassed. And this is my point. My point is just to be here. It's 30 days to Valentine's Day. Are you vulnerable? I mean, is your heart open? Is your heart there? Are you willing to stand there? It's 30 days to Valentine's Day. Are you willing to let your heart be seen? And what does that take? I don't know, but that's what I'm going to find out. So, you know, I feel totally vulnerable playing, and I don't feel totally vulnerable telling you what I'm doing, but I'm, so I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Um, because, I mean, in case that there's harpists watching this, one of the things that's really cool about this song, it goes C, and then it goes A. This is like an A with a C sharp and a B flat. And then D7, and then G. 
so you can see all these lovers. La, la, la. Changing those levers changes all the different harmonies. La, if I, when I fall in love. Happens again. Whoops. See, if you leave that down at the wrong, it will be forever. Then, la, la, la. That's like, I'm doing a C sus there. La, la, la. And then to like an A with a flat nine. And then a D. And then a G sus. Then a C major seven. And an F major seven. And a C with a G in the bass. And then there's a B flat here. And an E minor seven flat five, I think. And an A seven flat nine. And a D, D minor 7, and then E minor 7 flat 5, and A7, and then D minor 7, and G sus, and then G flat 9, and C major 7, A7 with a flat 9, D7. Seven, A7 seven with a flat nine, D7, G7, C major seven, then C sus A7 flat nine, D7 and G7, C major seven, F major seven, E. interesting is that helpful I, I know that I mean in the academy so I have an online academy oh yes and I must tell you tomorrow you should come to my website two things of course oh I want you to sign up for something but you can't find the link haha <laughs> all right well um, I'll put it on my website hipharp.com doing two things tomorrow no do things this weekend one I'm meeting tomorrow with Kathleen Wiley, who is a Jungian psychoanalyst, and we're going to talk about, I think it's like creative explosions in your brain. We're talking about that at 1145. So if you go to my blog at hipharp.com, that's hip as in cool, harp as in the instrument, you go to the blog, you look for Jung at harp, that's J-U-N-G, as in Carl Jung, and... Um, then oh actually i'm just we're just going to do it on facebook live so you can just come back here so is it interesting <laughs> is it interesting to hear the chords and i know that oh so why was i saying that i was saying that because hip harp academy is about to start so if you play the harp this is the time to start i'm starting with strings of passion which is all about creative expression and it starts on monday but there's also a lot of harpists in the academy who are learning jazz. And so, um, and the jazz uh, curriculum starts up in the spring. So we're doing, we're doing performance technique right now. And um, performance and like, like performance from the inside is basically what it is, what we're doing, Strings of Passion. But so I'm learning a lot of standards. I played a lot of standards on the concert harp, but I didn't play, I mean, I never played this on the, the lever harp. It just requires a lot of a lot of manipulation of the levers. 
Okay, now I'm blathering on. All right, so any questions? Angel of Inspiration, thank you. You know, okay, right, my goal is to be vulnerable. So, you know, I don't know how many people feel this, but our human voice is so intimate. It's so much a part of us. And <clears throat> singing is really important to me and hearing people sing and not necessarily like the greatest singers in the world, but actually hearing the, the intimacy of the human voice and all the little quivers and quavels and what the human voice really sounds like. And I know that so many people have been told, like, don't sing. And, and I get that, that it's, that, it, that if for someone to criticize your voice, that's like, that's like your, your air. It's like the air that you breathe coming through the vibrations of your body. And it's, I remember that when I first started singing with the harp, I got a lot of negative feedback. And then I just realized, this is what I do. This is what I have to do. You have to do what you do. You have to, you have to have the voice that you have. You have to let the voice that you have be heard. Oh, this is my cousin is watching. Oh no, my cousin is watching. This means that I have to sing our song. I will have to sing our song, my cousin's and my song, before the end of this challenge. This is a 30 day challenge of love songs. Now my cousin and I, when, uh, so I, I learned how to play the piano, learned how to uh, read chords and, read, and play um, piano music. And my cousin and I, would, Nancy, would always sit at the piano and we would sing. Here I go again. I hear those trumpets blow again, all aglow again, taking a chance on love. Now we would do this before we went to pick up guys. We would, we would, it was like our mantra. It was like our thing. And then we'd go down to like the Santa Monica Pier or we'd go to um, Disneyland or whatever, you know, wherever we were going. But, but this was a or down to the mall. I, I don't, Nancy, you tell me, I don't even remember where we went, but this was our song. Now, I don't know that I can play the whole thing, but I'm going to try it in honor of you. Here I go again. I hear those trumpets blow again, all aglow again, taking a chance on love. Birds. Here I fall again. La -la -la again all aglow again taking a chance on love oh then it goes uh i thought thought okay i'm gonna have to work on that because the bridge of all these love songs goes it, it always goes to some new key um but i'll just do that part again everybody sing here i go again i hear those trumpets blow again all aglow again Taking a chance on love. Mm -hmm. I still don't know those words again. La ba ba pi ba ya da da. La 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 di. La la. Taking a chance on love. So my goal between now and Valentine's Day is to just keep singing and to just come and sing love songs and see what happens. So you're going to try to sing different love songs every night and then have a concert on, what is it, Valentine's Day is on the 14th, it's a Sunday, have a concert on the 14th and maybe sing them all, we'll see, I don't know, I just thought of this. Okay, well, um, that's it, that's it. That's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm really glad to be back for a new challenge. I really missed having these challenges. And again, I want to tell you, tomorrow morning, Jung at Harp, 1145 Eastern Standard Time, around 1145. I'm going to be talking to Kathleen Wiley, who is a Jungian psychoanalyst. 
We both play the harp, which is why it's called Jung at Harp. And we're going to be talking about creative explosions deep in the mind. And then on Sunday, um, I'm doing a webinar called Power Start Your Day. And this is for harp players. This is the other side of creativity. This is my new big thing. He's thinking about the fact that when you are creative, you fall down rabbit holes a lot. And um, you will see me in a rabbit suit. If you are on my mailing list, you will see me in a rabbit suit tomorrow morning because I'm sending out an email that has me in that rabbit suit. And um, yeah, so you need structures and systems. So I have made a, uh, you know, like really quick system so that I can do them in the morning so I can take that creative self and, you know, support it. And so I'm going to be sharing that to harpists and other creatives on Sunday in a webinar called power start your day. And I would love to tell you how to sign up for that. You know what I'm going to do? I, after I, I'm going to go after I'm done here and I will put it in the post for this. And I will also put it on my website homepage, hipharp.com. Hip is in cool. Oh, they are over there. I'm looking, I was looking over there. Um, hip, hip is in cool, harp as in the instrument. And that's it. I'm done for tonight. I don't want to leave you but I'm going to. Thank you. See you tomorrow with more love songs. I will bring my glasses tomorrow so that I can actually see what you guys are saying. You're awesome. I wish I had to go on my glasses. I don't. Okay. I will bring them tomorrow. I promise. <laughs>